if you've got this far and you are literally watching and listening to this video, there's a pretty good chance that you know what the Google Now Voice sounds like. On my Moto G4 on Android 7, it sounds like this. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And that's the familiar voice that I'm hearing when I do a voice search or I use the Google Assistant. Now, let me show you something where I am, and that is text to speech output, because you can actually change the speech rate and the pitch. It goes like this. Let me just play it one more time. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Let's turn it up a tiny bit. Now, if I take the speech rate down. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Yes, I appreciate that's quite slow, but there are some people in terms of accessibility or even me talking right now, think that I'm going to go and speak too fast, in which case you can bring down the volume. Of course, if you're watching this back in YouTube, you can bring the rate down all the way to one quarter. Sorry, that's me messing around. Or up to times two. So, sorry, me messing around again. Let me reset. Now, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, let me reset the speech rate. Play it. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. It's pretty quick, actually. And then I go all the way up here. Obviously, that's super, super fast. My point in the learning here is that we can reset, we can go faster, we can go slower on the rate. We can also develop the pitch. Listen again. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. There we go. Then go back to a little bit of a slower pitch. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Which is really interesting because it sounds like the human behind it has totally changed. Let me reset and then go forward a little bit on pitch. Here we go. Sorry, let's play. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Which gets to be pretty fun, really, doesn't it? Let's go up to there. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Goodness, it sounds like someone's in pain. And top one. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And then we can have some fun. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Which, my point is not really to have fun, it's actually to know that we can change these settings and then choose something that you wish. So let's um, reset and reset. One other thing, and that is that when you go back, notice where we are. Let me just come all the way back, actually. I'll tell you where we, we can get it. To show you from the beginning, very much swipe down, tap, settings then i'm going in to find it in accessibility which is near the bottom isn't it see it's, this is what i mean by buried accessibility right near the bottom and then one two three four you have to keep going past magnification keep going past display keep going keep going and just after accessibility shortcut text to speech output. Now, remember, as a final thing, this is an example of speech synthesis in English. Got it. Now, if you go and look, I've got the English UK is fully supported at the bottom, but we can go up to the settings and we can go into the language and you can see that if I choose an example for, for me, because I happen to be in the UK, but just because I'm in the UK doesn't mean I want to listen to a voice from the UK, necessarily. I've got language, settings and install. Then I can choose, um, yeah, English. The one I'm using is voice one. But if I just tap. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So if you know your Roman numerals just on English UK, you've actually got, what, 10, 15, 16, you're 18 different voices. If you Now, I've got to be careful here because if whatever one you test, it thinks that it wants to stay there. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Great. Now, if I go into all the different countries, some countries just get a single download. If I go into US, for maybe obvious reasons, I'll get a ton of different voices. That's it, really, as an another awareness video from me in terms of figuring out how to use and be more effective with your Android device. Let me come out. Come out. Oh, 
you know, final thing, as again, I keep saying that, but... This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Now, having messed around with the inertia factor and the relativity, it sounds like that voice is either too quick or too high-pitched, which is playing with my head on this Friday, because it happens to be a Friday. Thanks, AZ Screen Recorder again.